What's up, my friends? It's time to actually get things done. You've done the vision boards, you've done the weekly planning, you know your goals, and you have a giant to-do list. But it is now 8 a.m. on Monday morning. What the heck are you actually going to do? There's tons of content out there, including on my own channel, about how to plan at a higher level. But when it actually comes down to it, it can be overwhelming to actually get things done during the day, let alone focus on getting the right things done that will help you reach your goals. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how I plan my day, stay focused, and deal with distractions using a simple productivity tool called the Ivy Lee Method. I've talked about the Ivy Lee Method on my channel before, but over the last year, it has become one of my favorite techniques that I've implemented as part of my own morning routine every single day. Now that it's become a habit, I've begun to get even more out of it. So I really wanted to share with you how to use the Ivy Lee Method to calm your mind and plan your day. So what exactly is the Ivy Lee method? Basically, it involves sitting down at the beginning of every day and writing a list of six things that you want to accomplish that day. Not 10 things, not 30 things, just six things. You'll pick one thing on the list to work on and keep working on it until it is complete. Only then can you move on to the next thing until all six things are completed. And if there's any things left on the list at the end of the day, then that can go on the list for tomorrow. It sounds stupidly simple, but it's become one of my favorite morning rituals for a couple of reasons. I love using the Ivy Lee method as part of my morning routine. It helps me do a high level survey of the day, so I feel more prepared and in control of how the day is going to go. I take a look at my calendar and see what meetings and events I've committed to. With the exception of scheduled meetings though, the rest of the time in the day is my own to use as effectively as possible. Defining my six things helps me feel calm, centered, and focused. It also helps create a feeling of control, even when things are crazy. I've noticed that on mornings when I don't make time for this ritual, I tend to feel scattered, out of control, and overwhelmed. So now I wanna share three reasons why the Ivy Lee method can create such positive mental benefits. The first reason why this method works is because it forces you to define a limited number of things that you want to accomplish each day. There's a psychological phenomenon known as decision fatigue, which basically means that the human brain is only capable of making a certain number of decisions at a time, and too much decision making can reduce the quality of further decisions and can also lead to procrastination. By defining ahead of time what six things you will get completed in the day, the decision making about what you're going to do has already been accomplished, so you start the day with more mental energy and less decision fatigue. The human brain is great at coming up with new ideas, but it's not great at remembering them all. So by actually writing down your list, either physically or virtually, your list will no longer be stored in your brain. This frees up mental bandwidth and creative energy. The second benefit to the Ivy Lee method is that it helps you prioritize tasks that will actually make an impact on your life. Have you ever been busy and occupied all day long, only to realize that nothing important actually got done? Human beings are great at filling our time, but being busy for the sake of being busy isn't really the best use of our time. By forcing you to narrow down your daily to-do list to only six things, the Ivy Lee method really forces you to think about what's important. When you only get to choose six things to focus on, it's a safe bet that you'll be a little more discerning with how you spend your time. The very act of defining your tasks and writing them down can also be beneficial. Often the items on our to-do list are vague or ambiguous, but can be quickly defined with a bit of front-end thinking. The third benefit of the Ivy Lee method is that it helps you focus. Plenty of research has shown that multitasking is not beneficial and that it can cause issues with productivity and hurt the quality of our results. Knowing that, I do still often find it difficult not to multitask. Sometimes it help happens without me even noticing. With the Ivy Lee method, it's important to focus entirely on your top priority task until it's complete and then move on to the next task. It sounds silly, but when I first implemented the Ivy Lee method, simply remembering that multitasking was against the rules helped me stay on track with completing one item at a time. It felt odd at first, but after a bit of practice, I noticed I was completing individual tasks faster and with better results. I also felt a little burst of accomplishment after completing a task because I knew that I had just been fully focused on it and saw it through to completion. This helped minimize distractions and allowed me permission to focus on one thing at a time. At the end of the list, I felt very accomplished as opposed to just feeling busy. If you've never tried the Ivy Lee method before, I would encourage you to try to commit to it for one month to see if it works for you. 
At the end of the month, you can decide if it's something worth continuing to practice or if it wasn't the right technique for you. Either way, you will have focused on trying something new and giving it a chance to imp impact your productivity. Hopefully, you'll find that this method creates more momentum and motivation in your life. If you enjoy this video, you might also enjoy this video about how I design systems to help reach the larger goals that I set. I'll post a link to that video here if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.